The connection between math and computer science is most of the advances today use computers. So if you want to know a little bit about your mathematical objects or your data, the computer is a great tool to actually do a lot of computation very quickly. And that allows you to draw insight and then you're able to better explain what's going on. My research is in optimization. I'm specifically interested in a subfield of optimization called convex analysis. And I started there uh, during my PhD and looking at all these objects and very abstract concepts and say, okay, I want to build some intuition. How do I actually plot it? How do I visualize it? And a lot of my research about building algorithms to actually visualize this object. I'm a very visual person, so I need to see. So when I'm uh, visualizing objects, I create new algorithms to actually visualize this object and see it on the screen so it's easier for me to understand what's going on build my intuition from there, it's also easier for me to teach students about it. The first step is when I look at the raw design problem, for example, is what do I want to do with it? And in this case, well, I want to build a cheaper road, and then it's about what constraints do I do? And then you look at to visualize that, because it's not enough to actually build a model and say it's a great model. You also have to convince the engineer that this is actually working. And really what I want to do is my research having some impact and really helping people in their job. And uh, again, the raw design project is really useful in that sense because we use all these optimization techniques and tricks. Now we put them in a commercial product and they are going to be used in practice and have a huge impact on the price people are going to pay for building roads. On the raw design project, here the objective was really to use all these optimization techniques that we know we, I mean, they work really well, they're very efficient. And can we convince people to actually use them in their business? So in this case, there is a company involved and they're really interested in building a road which is the cheapest possible road and still a safe road. So we model the problem, we build some optimization algorithm behind it, and we're able now to obtain better results. So the engineer is not going to spend several days trying to guess what the, the road is, what the cheapest road is. I work on another problem like optimizing reinforced concrete beams. That's another project, short project I had. And it was really the same issue. Taking the problem, really understanding the problem, applying the optimization, and then convincing the engineer that this is actually the solution they've been looking for. And in some cases, the engineer say, oh, you didn't think about that. So we take that into account, and it's an iterative process, and we improve it until we actually have what the engineer is looking for.